that are you doing differently? What we're doing differently is for you to witness once you get there. Come on! Trust you me, uh, trust you me, the difference is that we're tackling the album songs in, in, in a live manner okay. that has never been done. Okay. You know. Are you bringing Kerry Hilson? Not, not sure. Okay. But you guys should watch out for a certain surprise. I mean, to be honest, let's not tell no lies. I'm not a politician. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, let's be honest. You gonna, you guys are gonna get it. You don't know that they're, they're virtual. This is a virtual concert, so you mm-hmm. don't know what to expect. Exactly. So don't let me spill the beans. So is it but live? Still going to get that? Yes, it's very it's live. Live. Okay. It's very much live. It's super live, and this, I mean. I play with band, with my band Beam Nation every time, but this is like the biggest set that um, the number of set. Um, you know, like everything is different about this. Where one, are you doing it? Me. We're doing it at um, a venue called the Bayview Village okay. around Medina, where, um, where, you know, everything is. We're actually, we're actually only admitting um, a, a certain number of people, okay. you know, so that we can still get to obey the protocols and all of that but also it is actually meant for for persons like that so that they can join us and experience the live experience whilst we stream online as well 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 yeah. done. featuring well you're doing live performances are mm-hmm. you going to be doing it with people we know um there are people from uh, featured on the album okay as well the artists all across the, all over the world but um from ghana it's our own father legend uh, kojo entry who featured on the album so they are He'll definitely be on the you know definitely okay. look out for that one it's going to be a smashing one and this will be the second time ever performing with with him you know the first time was me showing up um at his event and it was amazing. I was, I couldn't believe it still. You feel me? Because Kojenji is very huge. And to give me the opportunity to even feature on a song, to even appear on a stage and get the, you know, vice versa. He gave me a verse, represented on my album, and we'll be representing as well on the night. That alone on its own is something else you don't want to deal. miss. Now, you get me? So <laughs> talk less of every other thing that we have planned. Okay. Well, so, stay strong for us because we want to see the concert live. <laughs> when is you. it? It's on the twin. It's on Saturday, the twenty second of May. This of Saturday. May. Awesome. So uh, six p.m. sharp. You guys have to, you know, make sure. Please keep an eye on my socials because okay. there's a lot of information running over there. Yeah. You know, okay. if you don't follow Stoneboy, you should. S T U N E B W O Y B. You know. Okay. On Twitter, on Snapchat, on Instagram, and are you on, on TikTok? I'm on Trilla. Okay. Yeah, I'm on, I'm on trailer. I'm not on TikTok. On trailer, I still stone boy. Okay. You know, so follow me up on, on these handles and let's interact. I miss you guys. I can't wait to hit the stage for you guys. Yep. You know, we can't wait victim, to see your performances. Victim, victim, victim. Now, I was recently talking to was it Black Prophet, and mm-hmm. we talked. I think we mentioned you a couple of times, and I I had some questions about reggae and dance hall and um, is it Afro Afrobeat? Wait. Yeah. I'm not sure. Okay, but specifically mm. about reggae and dance yeah. hall, um, because of some of the yeah. categories in our music awards. Yeah. And he said, no, reggae and dance hall are two totally different mm. genres, if mm. you like, um, of music, or they're different types of reggae music. Yeah. Uh, do you agree? Um, wh- where are we driving at? Just the fact that there are different types, or there should be different types for whatever what reason? So here's I know my, conf- to get here's my confusion. My confusion. My confusion was um, well, we hear reggae dance hall artist of the year. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, a, it's a common category okay. which you find yourself. So that's in. like reggae dance hall. Yeah, it's reggae put dance together. hall is put together. Okay. Uh, and some people feel that no, reggae is different and dance hall is different. Mm. So if you say reggae, so it needs dance, to be separated. It needs to be separated, and then we can have a reggae artist. Artist, and then dance hall artist. And then have a dance hall artist. I buy that idea. It's, it's a very simple one. It's okay. not complicated at all. So which one do you do? I feel, okay. What I do, I do reggae, I do dance hall, I do Afrobeat, I do everything music, ah. you know, but I represent my style okay. with reggae and dance hall attitude. That's, you can identify me with it first and foremost. Okay. And when you click on it and you go into details, <laughs> you realize that that guy's music sitting down there. Okay. You know, that's how I describe my style. That's why you hear Afro dance hall that I named Afro, Afro dance hall, and it is something I identify myself with. It's just like everybody has a name. Mm-hmm. What's your name? My name is Livingston. What style do you do? I do Afro dance hall, reggae music. So you can find me on that. And I think that major is actually something that's very huge, and a lot of yeah. people have embraced it mm-hmm. across Nigeria and across Africa, definitely, because a lot of people look up to me, definitely, as yeah. one of the people who 
have led the, the torch, you know, to blaze the trail when it comes to Afri reggae and dancehall music from Africa and African. I mean, we're all black people, all Africans anyway. Yeah. But I mean, from <laughs> somebody from home. Got it from home. <laughs> yeah. You know? and, and, and speaking of people looking up to you, I can only imagine the immense pressure you must be under when we speak of yeah. reggae dancehall artists. So to answer that finally, I think if the VGMAs or any award scheme has the luxury to separate, separate reggae it. from dancehall, I think they can. But guess what? Most of the reggae artists do dancehall. Most of the dancehall artists do, do reggae. Okay. It only shows your versatility, you know. If you can't venture both, then I think it's at the level of what you can do. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to awards, it's not a difficult anything at all. If they can, they should just separate it. Because probably under the year of review, I might drop a dancehall song, dancehall song. And or I might drop a reggae song, could be love, roots rock reggae, could be high life reggae, whatever reggae, whatever the ah. blends be. You so know? in fact, so. The, the, the breakdowns are endless. Very yeah, much it, so. It just Very going. much so. It depends okay. on what you're influenced with, you know, what influences your creativity. Okay. So I think that one is going to be endless. Okay. Endless, you know. Okay. All right. When cool. I listen to you, I wonder, does he have a songwriter? Does he go to some deep, dark place to go retrieve some <laughs> memories of the past to write this music? Like, how do you do it? What What's the, the secret ingredient? The two options you gave me here, if I answer to one of them, I'll be in the headline news tomorrow. Like, does he go to a dark, secret place? And when I say, yes, I do, but I, that nigga is, you know. <laughs> okay. But thing is... He, like you mentioned, on a positive note, as creatives who are talent, who are blessed and gifted, you know, we find our ways around it, and it's amazing. Uh, that's how simple I can answer it. You but just I, find a way around it. I think the passion and the calling is what it is. You feel me? We're all, you know, we're humans, but some of us, I mean, we are ordinary people being used to do extraordinary things. You know, mm -hmm. like you make music for people to live on. I live on music as well. And I live on my music too. Okay. So you should realize that it's deeper than just me that is a career of such and such. Okay. That's why a lot of people... Music is life. Imagine the world without music. I cannot imagine yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, so basically, we thank God for that. And I do remember that day. Them were the times I was coming up still. Mm -hmm. And it was amazing. Thanks for having me. That gave me an opportunity to, very to shine my own. So you, you agree know. with the fix yourself um, hashtag as well? That fix yourself hashtag was was came about as an as a, as a, as a hashtag to oppose the fix Ghana. That I don't buy the idea. You know what I mean? For the fact that it was introduced to attack the fix Ghana. I don't buy the idea. Okay. But definitely as a country, when the country is fixed, we shall all be fixed. Mm -hmm. Because a country is not just a geographical area. It includes the humans, the people and everything. So when the country is fixed, that directly shows that people in it will be fixed. Okay. You know, because when you go a brochure and the rest, stubborn people there everywhere. Everybody is finding a way around the system, you know. But the system is strong enough to keep everybody in line. Okay. So, you know. If, if there was a hashtag for fix the music industry, for example, in Ghana, fix yeah. the, if there was, yeah. fix the music industry, for example, what would be some of your recommendations? Yeah, the music industry 100% needs fixing. More than, more than self. How it does really. Fix it? Yeah, I honestly, I, this question is not just, it, this question is, is, has been there from time, 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 time. I wouldn't be the one to say, ha, just be like, me and me answer, no. Answer, no, they will be any. It's just like when everybody is coming into a, a, a like to take a seat, they they tell you the answers, and you're like, wow, wow, wow. But when they come, doing it is very difficult. So I wouldn't sit here to tell the answer and make it seem like, oh, it's as easy as that. But what I believe is that it needs to be fixed. The people in the power that be sitting on the on the seats that they have the power to turn things around. We beg them. We know that they can if they really do want to. You think politicians can help fix our industry? People it, in power it, can it, help it, fix it. Pol it. People in government can help fix it. Okay. A politician has come a long way not to be trusted. Okay. Uh, we recently, <laughs> let me just ask you this. Do you have any interests or aspirations of, um, you know, um, any, do you have any political aspirations? I don't have to become a politician to change something or help something. So you don't? Once the system runs for us or 
we can all sit well enough to be able to support government or support private parties to implement development. So if you saw a, a party that was spearheading things that you think are right, this is how it ought to be, fixing the country, things are going well, you would lend your support to them? A part, if I were. If you saw a party, mm -hmm. you know, you said, well, if the people in power are doing the right thing to fix the country, mm -hmm. things are going well, yeah. we will give them our support. Do you see yourself, you know, um, lending your, so, your voice and support to a I political I believe it party should be if I saw a government, not a party. A government. Yeah. Okay. Sure. You would. Yeah. Awesome. A moment ago, you talked about how our children, we, we ought to fix the industry so our children can be able to reap the benefits. Yeah. Let me just ask you about your lovely children. Do they, <laughs> do they have, do you see them with any, or having oh, any much. musical interest? Too much. Already? <laughs> Which too of them? Much. Both of them. Both of them. Both of them. Yo, they all can compose their songs at this no time. No way. Tell you, I'm not telling you no lies. They can sing songs on their own. That's they not true. They can dance on timing. Just yesterday, <laughs> my son was giving me some one hand something. I'm like, hey. How old is he? Is this is two two and plus? You know, okay. my daughter is three and plus. They're all like they're all so entertaining. The two of them are so, and so I know they're carrying on the musical in it and that okay. the creative talent already. And I would love to see them pursue it alongside whatever educational um, formal whatever they want to do. Okay, you know, I would love to see them. So that's why I think it's very very important for us all to continue to advocate and add our voices to until some things are done. You know. you know, back in the days, as children, our parents would want us to be lawyers or doctors, and that was it. Yeah, exactly. And, and if you told your, your mom or your dad you wanted to be a rapper or a musician, they probably wouldn't be so excited about it exactly. in them days. But I see that things are changing now. And now, because of people like you, mm. the industry is attractive. Um, yes, we need a lot of fixing, and we yeah. need it to be well, and so on. Yeah. But it's attractive, and you want your children to tour. I the think, I mean, I, let, 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 thank you very much. Let me spread this across. Okay. I mean, it's not only because of people like me. Okay. I think from, from time, people have, musicians and artists have been trying to up it up so that yeah. it continues to look, yeah. you know, same yeah. applied to the football as well, mm -hmm. until when they started seeing that, yo, footballers can rack in some piles, you know, of, of, of stacks. Yeah. They realized that, okay, let them, let them be same way as our music industry as well. So we've done well individually on our own, yeah. you know. And collectively. And with the collective effort of government as well. Because me, I always remain on the point that it is not like they've not done anything at all. At least we're still trying to do something, but we can when you check out uh, the, the whole politics vibe is dividing the things too much. Because when I sit on TV and I watch the politics shows, you realize that it is too much of way by and way by every time everybody's trying to backdate so that they leave it there. Then you end up not really finding what it is that we're supposed to be doing. Like, let me add my voice to this one. Like, I see some abandoned schools and that. Uh, Sometimes we just need some explanation, feel me? So that we don't become, because these people are our fathers, our uncles, our aunties, and we don't have any right, moral rights to open our mouths to want to tell them anything that will be insulting, you know, because we do not have to. That's not the type of morals that we, we have as Ghanaians. Yeah. But we, we feel like sometimes we are forced to, but that doesn't even solve anything anyway. You see the schools abandoning the housing that is there and that, uh, I think about it too. I'm like, ah, but why? We just need, like, why? Is it that they don't, they know much better than we do. Yeah. You feel me? So, yeah. we're just praying. Right now, there's prayers because. <laughs> <laughs>